And we have Jean Kelly from the Institute of Education, the goat of maths teacher or teachers, according to her own students. I hope you're OK with that, Jean. Um, <laughs> let's start with paper one. Tell me about the format. Uh, so each paper is the same in terms of format. There's 10 questions on each paper. So paper one, it's got two sections. It's got section A, section B. Section A is full of short questions. Uh, it's on skills, concepts. So it's just what you know they're trying to find out. Um, section B is on applications of what you know to the real world. So you're talking about putting everything into context. So on section A, um, there's six questions and you have to do five. And in section B, there's four questions and you have to do three. So, um, you know, there was never really choice until COVID happened. And then since COVID, they've, they're sticking with the plan and they're, they're giving you a little bit of choice. OK. And in section A, concepts and skills, they're still nice and practical questions. Last year, there was questions about farmers, livestock, machinery and depreciation. So can we expect that same kind of thing again? Yes, absolutely. They're try like they called it Project Maths when they for first brought it in. Mm. But like there was never really a project. Hence, they're trying to make it more practical based. So it's always going to be practical. OK. And then question two is complex numbers and diagrams. Yes. Now, in terms of the topics, you've got algebra, which is the main cohort. And mm -hmm. 20 um, percent of the whole syllabus actually is algebra. And um, so you need to know how to solve equations, especially quadratic equations. Then you've got complex numbers, which is kind of heavy in algebra as well. And number patterns, the same heavy in algebra. They haven't really asked too much number patterns in the last few years. So the, the paper this year will probably have a lot on it. And um, then you've got calculus. Uh, that's differentiation, functions and graphs, which I kind of tend to link together um, because they usually come up together. And then um, you've financial maths. Now, I'd say the paper will be heavy in financial maths and number patterns this year with a little bit of algebra. Is that a banker financial maths? I think so, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, in several questions. That's what they're asking. They're asking little bits of financial maths everywhere, not just paper one, paper mm. two as well. OK, so let's run through the timings then for paper one. What's your rule of thumb on how long you should spend on each section? Um, well, in terms of the number of questions you have, so you have 10 questions, you have to do five short questions. They're 30 marks each. Then you have to do three long questions they're 50 marks each and they're both sections a and b they're both worth 150 marks each mm -hmm. so the whole paper is 300 in terms of the timing look at the marks if the marks are out of 30 spend half the marks in time doing that question it's so spend 15 minutes per short question and if the marks are out of 50 which is the long question spend half the marks in time that's the general rule of thumb half the marks in time so if it's a 50 mark question 25 minutes OK, nice yeah. and simple maths there. We yeah. like simple maths. <laughs> OK, paper two. What are the topics you need to concentrate on here? Um, the long questions tend to be the likes of trigonometry, statistics, probability and area and volume. The short questions can be anything from line, circle and more of statistics, probability, trigonometry. They tend to ask a little bit of everything now. It's not just like you can't really leave anything out. Um, like a lot of people are kind of I was only talking to Andrew there earlier on a lot of people are trying to leave out geometry yeah. and we were kind of thinking is there any need to have it on the course anymore but um, a lot of teachers even like I know students are coming to me for grinds they're looking at me going what is this we really? haven't done it so yeah. like sorry but it's true a lot of people are leaving it out completely yeah. but I wouldn't be leaving out anything because they're asking little short kind of snippet questions yeah. on everything now so it's hard to leave anything out OK so just get the basics of every yes, topic absolutely OK uh, how important are log tables and using <laughs> them <laughs> for paper two definitely you need log yeah. tables every single question is, has formulae in it and even if you just write down a formula you're getting marks like for example last year the quadratic formula for example to solve a quadratic equation and to get roots if you wrote that down, you got five out of ten marks and it's in the log tables. Okay. You just had to literally transcribe the formula and write it down. Oh, That's easy. It. We like those yeah. questions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK, don't forget your log tables anyway. They'll when be you're... handed out anyway on the okay. day so they don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah. And thing. it literally become the new best. They'll become their new best friend. OK, um, you know, we're about 12 weeks out now from mm -hmm. leaving CERT. How should people be organising their revision at this stage? Um, well, there's technically f seven topics of paper. There's, so there's 14 topics overall and I know now there's 12 weeks like so I would have said two weeks ago do a topic a week maybe for the first two weeks do two topics a week and then for the last 10 weeks maybe just stick with a topic a week and um, I'd be concentrating on exam papers now just literally eat the exam papers alive yeah. 
Yeah. Because it's not about looking at a textbook and that it's about you want people to drill those exam papers. Yeah, I think so. I think that's yeah. the best way to do any kind of ordinary level um, subject and especially maths because they tend to kind of ask the same thing over and over again. I know that sounds really bad, but it, they do. Yeah. And if you go through all the papers, you'll start to see the patterns yourself and the way the questions are phrased, the type of questions that are going to be asked and the topics that are going to come up. Mm. So people... Take your time then with the exam paper, then that's your advice. Go Absolutely. through it and 100 yeah. percent. Just constantly, just every day, maybe do maybe half an hour a day. It's like practicing the sport. You'll mm. get better at it if you just keep practicing. So if you do maybe 30 minutes every day, seven yeah. days a week, can you imagine doing two leave and questions in 30 minutes mm. and doing 14 questions a week? Sure, that's all of the papers on a topic done. Yeah, because sometimes people think, oh, I need to spend two hours on this. Not at all. No, you don't need that much okay. at all. Half an hour every day. Okay, simple maths, simple maths again. Yes. <laughs> that is brilliant. Thank Big you time. so much. No Jean. problem.